accountant who admitted doing that is charged and awaiting sentencing as this investigation continues. Eight on your side broke this story and tonight senior investigator Wapito has more details after digging into the documents wall. We started looking into this two months ago and broke the story last night. Now we know nearly $13 million was embezzled over five and a half years. The accountant agreed to plead guilty, admitting he spent USF money to charter yachts, renovate his home and pay for a wedding and used an adult site and his future daughter-in-law to clean the cash. One accountant with no oversight, according to investigators, was in charge of USF's University Medical Service Association's credit card programs. Ralph Puglisi pleaded guilty to using the plastic to embezzle at least $12.8 million between 2014 and last fall, with about $11.5 million charged by the 59-year-old to the adult website MyGirlFund.com. Documents indicate Puglisi paid the site, then sent the credit to his future daughter-in-law's My Girl Fund account. The feds say the unidentified daughter-in-law kept 40% of the money and sent 60% back to Puglisi. No one else has been charged at this point, but documents indicate the investigation is ongoing. No comment from Puglisi, who was fired last December. He is working hard on paying restitution, according to his attorney, who tells me, quote, Mr. Puglisi has accepted responsibility and he is cooperating with investigators. Besides the $12.8 million in non-business charges, another $1.5 million in suspicious charges are still being investigated. University Medical Service also terminated his supervisor and internal auditor, who did not detect the scheme. And records show Puglisi was arrested for grand larceny in Hernando County in 1985, but those charges were later dismissed. We're told this case had nothing to do with the recent resignation of USF President Stephen Corral, who took over about a year before the crime was uncovered. MyGirlFund.com has not responded to our request for comment. In the newsroom, Walt Buteau, 8 on your side. Right now, friends, family, former players, and fans of Bobby Bowden are paying their respects to the legendary coach. Bowden passed away.